What is up, baby? Welcome back to Mary Ask and Mary Ask and You guys, funny moments. If you're ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. I know you guys have been asking about American Dad, too. I just have to find a source that's not copyrighted, and then I got you. Remember this, Eva. Remember us. I do remember us. I miss us. When we get home, let's do it so loud the kids wake up. Yeah, let's do it on the couch where we all gather as a family and watch television. Family Guy is brought to you by Parent Sex. Parent Sex. It happens in rooms that you hang out in and watch TV. Maybe even right there where you're sitting now. Nope, not in my house. I was thinking a hound like you would be just the thing to help sniff out some new clues. What do you say? Uh, yeah. In, in fact, you came to the right guy. I was briefly McGruff's psychic. Ah, uh, that's Jenny. But that's not Jenny's dad. No, sir. If she gets into that car, that may be the last time you'll see Jenny. Yep, I'm McGruff, the crime dog. And I'm Sergeant Bark. Because I've I'm never Bark seen that McGruff. show. See those kids? Every day in this country. 60 kids disappear. Hey, the bikes fell. Okay, Somewhere so I guess I'm not old enough. Bikes kidnapped by strangers. But McGruff? Or even by people they McGruff, know. you want me to pick up? So right to McGruff. Oh, you're, you're giving the your kids to protect bus. themselves. <clears throat> Help uh, take a bite out of crime. And don't forget to bark at it. Oh, right, he said 1981. Is that what he said? I'm definitely not old enough. We're, we're going to die unless, unless we do something drastic. What? We have to slice open our camel's stomach and shelter ourselves in his entrails. <gasps> if it's the right, Chucky, I won't do it. Look, we're gonna die if we don't. All right. Oh, God, it's like Orson Welles' autopsy. All right, just hold your breath and go. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramp in my style while I'm macking on toddlers. Not the macking on toddlers. Peter, this is our niece, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm getting out. All right, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. Oh, this mess of a man. Oh, crappy Mexicans and your glass candy. Well, I expected to put myself to bed. Is no one taking care of me? He's a worse dad than a rich New York City investment banker. Millie, it's in here again. Be sorry, Mr. Sir. Get out the room, dim dear, your father, your father. Him unhappy, him had you in the first place. Now, come on, I'll let you rub some lotion on me elbows. And thanks for helping me pick out a new computer, you guys. Oh, no problem, quite man. God, this place is always so crowded. We gotta find someone who works here. Can I help you, sir? Sorry, all I got is a quarter, pal. Mm -mm. Excuse me, sir. Uh, my buddy here is looking for a computer. I would like to elect you president. He's literally trying to help you, you dummy. Like, ugh. What are you doing? I can't. I don't miss working at the Apple store. I mean, I miss working. I miss the culture, the company culture. But some customers, oh my god. You're just like, why did you even walk in here? Like, why are you even here? I get it out of my pocket every 30 seconds for the next six years. What do you think, Peter? Peter? I touched the iPhone headphone. Uh, you know, Lois, we're just lucky we got this under control before the police caught on you. Hold it right there, Lois. You're under arrest. Oh, crap. All right, look, just, just take it easy, Joe. All right, Lois will go peacefully. Oh, my God, I am so embarrassed. Let me just get my purse. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know she was going to do that? Lois, please. Meanwhile, this one just get dragged. Sorry, Lois. Regulations. I can't give you any special treatment. It's okay, Joe. I understand. Shut up, maggot! It's the maggot for me. We gather today to remember those brave cohort men who were lost at sea. Not the Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. <laughs> you won't be hurting anyone anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Ain't no way. Oh yeah, you know the old man was gonna go. You already know. Oh, 
Joey. Uh, now that one seemed less earned. <laughs> I really don't know history. I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. <laughs> oh, no. Child, Mrs. Roberts. <laughs> <gasps> oh, the depiction. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, well, now back to my life. Oh, he's stuck into his little uh, gov is only a place to get your shirt. Yeah, well, thanks to you, I lost her to Cleveland. You know what you need? You need to stop pointing fingers and get out of the house. Have some fun. Real fun. Not like 37-year-old woman on a blind date fun. Oh, this is fun, right? We're having fun. I'm so glad you forgot your wallet. I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? No, I just felt like killing. Ah! Uh, oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best time. Look, Peter, why don't you just go home before you get hurt? Well, I'm clearly not the only one who was dissatisfied with his purchase. Whoever bought that baby from you obviously didn't want it. A baby? I didn't sell a baby. She's so cute. Look, there's a note. Glenn, this is your child. Oop. Next time wear a condom, jerk. Oh my god! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. <laughs> oh, <I see laughs> That'll do it. It's the giggity for me. No, 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 no. I want it different. It's okay. He's such a child. You know what? You guys are right. He ain't good at nothing. To learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> he's so... He's... Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. But this changes everything. I, I want to be there for you, Meg. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes, of course. Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am. We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! Thank you for requesting. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe for the dopest of lives. I love you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.